Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is UPSC TSAP Question Paper 2017 Paper 1 Question number 1 Which one of the following portals was launched on the 250th anniversary of Survey of India? Option A Service Plus Option B DG Map Option C Udan Option D Nakshe The correct answer is Option D. Nakshe. Web portal Nakshe has been launched by the Survey of India, SY, to make open series maps freely available for Indians. The web portal was launched by Harsh Vardhan, Indian Union Minister for Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, to mark the 250th anniversary of the Survey of India. Question number 2. Which one of the following countries has been ranked as the least corrupt country in the Corruption Perception Index 2016 released by Transparency International? Option A. Denmark. Option B. Sweden. Option C. Switzerland. Option D. Norway. The correct answer is. Option A. Denmark. Denmark is the second least corrupt country in the world according to the CPI. It has been consistently ranked top 4 since the inception of the index in 1995. In 2016, Denmark was the least corrupt country alongside New Zealand. Business corruption, administrative corruption, and other forms of corruption are very rare in the country. The independent judiciary, social trust, and transparency mechanisms are some of the factors that ranks Denmark as one of the most transparent countries. The country's penal code forbids any form of bribery. Question number 3. The Central Vigilance Commission was set up on the recommendation of Option A. First Administrative Reforms Commission Option B. Gorwala Committee Option C. Kriplani Committee Option D. Santanam Committee The correct answer is Option D. Santanam Committee the Central Vigilance Commission was set up by the government in February 1964 on the recommendations of the Committee on Prevention of Corruption, headed by Shri K. Santanam, to advise and guide central government agencies in the field of vigilance. Question number 4. The ninth schedule was added to the Constitution of India by the Option A. 14th Amendment. Option B. First Amendment. Option C. 93rd Amendment, Option D. 99th Amendment. The correct answer is Option B. First Amendment. The Ninth Schedule, the First Amendment to the Indian Constitution added the Ninth Schedule to it. It was introduced by the Nehru government on the 10th of May 1951 to address judicial decisions and pronouncements, especially about the chapter on fundamental rights. Nehru was also very clear on the purpose behind the First Amendment. Question number 5. Which one of the following cases in the Supreme Court of India dealt with the issue of creamy layer among the backward classes? Option A. K. M. Nanavati vs. State of Bombay. Option B. Indra Sahani vs. Union of India. Option C. Madhu Limaya vs. Ved Murti. Option D. Sajjan Singh vs. State of Punjab. The correct answer is Option B. Indra Sahani vs. Union of India. The 27% reservation quota for backward classes and the government notification reserving 10% government jobs for economically backward classes among the higher castes was challenged in the Supreme Court in the Indra Sahani case of 1982. Question number 6. Which one of the following statements are Ulclip's mission is not correct? Option A. In March 1942, Cripps persuaded War Cabinet to agree to a draft declaration. Option B. Jawaharlal Nehru and Sardar Patel represented Congress to negotiate with the mission. Option C. The mission offered dominion status after the war. Option D. The mission offered formation of constitution-making body after the war. The correct answer is Option A. In March 1942, Cripps persuaded War Cabinet to agree to a draft declaration.
The Cripps mission was an attempt in late March 1942 by the British government to secure full Indian cooperation and support for their efforts in World War II. The mission was headed by senior Stafford Cripps. It never persuaded any of the war cabinet to agree to draft declaration. Question number 7. Which one of the following statements about the Treaty of Allahabad is not correct? Option A. It was signed in the year 1765. Option B. The Mughal Emperor by a Farman formally granted the Diwani of Bengal, Bihar and Orissa to the East India Company. Option C. Avad was restored to its Nawab on payment of 50 rupees lakhs. Option D. Banaras and the surrounding tracts were detached from Avad and handed over to Shah Alam II. The correct answer is Option D. Banaras and the surrounding tracts were detached from Avad and handed over to Shah Alam II. The Treaty of Allahabad was signed on the 12th of August 1765 between the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II son of the late Emperor Alamgir II, and Robert Clive, of the East India Company, in the aftermath of the Battle of Buxar of the 22nd of October 1764. The treaty was handwritten by Ithisamuddin, a Bengali Muslim scribe and diplomat to the Mughal Empire. Question number 8. Which one of the following novels won the Pulitzer Prize for the year 2017 in the fiction category? Option A. The Goldfinch. Option B. All the light we cannot see. Option C. The Sympathizer. Option D. The Underground Railroad. The correct answer is. Option D. The Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad is the sixth novel by American author Carlson Whitehead. It is the winner of the 2017 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, the 2016 National Book Award for Fiction the Arthur C. Clarke Award, and the 2017 Andrew Carnegie Medal for Excellence. The novel tells the story of Cora and Caesar, two slaves who make a bid for freedom from their Georgie plantations by following the Underground Railroad, which in the novel is an actual subway as opposed to a series of safe houses and secret routes. Question number 9. Which one of the following judgments declared that the Parliament has no power to amend any of the provisions of Part 3 of the Constitution of India? Option Keshavananda Bharti vs. the State of Kerala Option B. Golaknath vs. the State of Punjab Option C. Champakam Dorai Rajan vs. State of Madras Option D. Minerva Mills Limited vs. Government of India the correct answer is Option B. Golaknath vs. the State of Punjab Golaknath vs. State of Punjab was a 1967 Indian Supreme Court case, in which the court ruled that Parliament could not curtail any of the fundamental rights in the Constitution. The judgment reversed the Supreme Court's earlier decision which had upheld Parliament's power to amend all parts of the Constitution including Part 3 related to fundamental rights. The judgment left Parliament with no power to curtail fundamental rights. Question number 10. Who among the following leaders is associated with the concept of partyless democracy? Option A. J. B. Kriplani. Option B. Jay Prakash Narayan. Option C. Acharya Narendra Dev. Option D. Vinoba Bhave. The correct answer is. Option B. Jay Prakash Narayan. Party-less democracy was a concept developed by many scholars like M. N. Roy and Mahatma Gandhi but was followed by Jay Prakash Narayan. He advocated that all communities would be organically integrated through the processes which have been described and all their councils would be linked to the most organic of all social units after the family, namely the village, district, and so on. Question number 11 who among the following is empowered to establish inter-state council under Article 263 of the Constitution of India? Option A. Parliament. Option B. Council of Ministers. Option C. President of India. Option D. Chief Justice of India. The correct answer is. Option C. President of India. 
Inter-State Council is a constitutional body set up on the basis of provisions in Article 263 of the Constitution of India by a presidential order dated 28 of May 1990 on the recommendation of Sarkaria Commission. Article 263 of the Constitution envisages the establishment of an institutional mechanism to facilitate coordination of policies and their implementation between the union and the state governments. Question number 12. Which one of the following statements about the Indigo Revolt of 1859 is correct? Option A. It broke out at Pune and Ahmadinagar. Option B. It was directed against money lenders. Option C. It was supported by the intelligentsia of Bengal. Option D. It was directed against the petty zamindars and ex-employees of the planters. The correct answer is. Option D. It was directed against the petty zamindars and ex-employees of the planters. Indigo was being cultivated in Bengal since the end of the 18th century. It was practiced mainly in two forms, the Nijabad and the Yoti. In the Nij or own system, the planter produced indigo on lands that he directly controlled. In the Yoti cultivation, the Yos cultivated indigo on their own lands as part of a contract with the planters. The planters gained land rights in a number of ways. They took waste or unoccupied lands on temporary or permanent leases from the zamindars. They also acquired zamindari and talukdari rights. At times, Indigo cultivation would also be carried out on the lands of Yos who had died without an heir or who had abandoned their villages. Question number 13. Which one of the following is not a river covered under the Indus Water Treaty 1960? Option A. Ravi. Option B. Chinab. Option C. Tista. Option D. Bias. The correct answer is. Option D. Bias. The Indus Waters Treaty is a water distribution treaty between India and Pakistan, brokered by the World Bank, to use the water available in the Indus River and its tributaries. The Indus Waters Treaty was signed in Karachi on 19 September 1960 by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and Ayub Khan. Tista River is a 315 km long river that rises in the eastern Himalayas flows through the Indian states of Sikkim and West Bengal through Bangladesh, and enters the Bay of Bengal. It drains an area of 12,540 square kilometers. In India, it flows through the Darjeeling district and the cities of Rangpo, Jalpai Gudi, and Mekhliganj. It joins the Jamuna River at Phulchari in Bangladesh. Question number 14. Who among the following is awarded with the special cake through prize in fundamental physics for the year 2017? Option A. Stephen W. Hawking and Roger Penrose. Option B. Ronald Drever, Kip S. Tommy and Raina Weiss. Option C. Joseph Pulchinski, Andrew Strominger, and Kumarum Wafa. Option D. J. Michael Kostelitz, Duncan Haldane and David J. Thulis. The correct answer is Option C. Joseph Pulchinski, Andrew Strominger, and Kumarum Wafa. The Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics was founded in 2012 by Yuri Milner to recognize those individuals who have made profound contributions to human knowledge. It is open to all physicists, theoretical, mathematical, experimental, working on the deepest mysteries of the universe. Question number 15. Who among the following mathematician is the recipient of the Arbel Prize for the year 2017? Option A. John F. Nash. Option B. Eve Meyer. Option C. Senior Sri Nivasa Vardhan. Option D. Andrew Wiles. The correct answer is. Option B. Eve Meyer. French mathematician Yves Meyer was today awarded the 2017 Nobel Prize for his work on wavelets, a mathematical theory with applications in data compression, medical imaging, and the detection of gravitational waves. Question number 16. Who among the following scholars has conceptualized the constitution of India as a seamless web? Option A. My Pile. Option B. D.D. Basu. Option C. Granville Austin. Option D. 
Subhash Kashyap. The correct answer is Option C. Granville Austin. The Indian Constitution written by Granville Austin was first published in 1966. Working a Democratic Constitution written by Granville Austin was first published in 1999. Retrieving Times written by Granville Austin was first published on October 22, 2008. In 2011, in recognition for his writing on the framing and working of the Indian Constitution, Granville Austin was awarded a Padma Shri Award, the fourth highest civilian honor of the Republic of India. Granville Austin died on the 6th of July 2014 and is survived by his four children, three grandchildren, and his wife, Nancy Austin, in Washington, D. Question number 17. Which one of the following statements about the English Education Act of 1835 is not correct? Option A. It was proposed by Governor General William Bentinck on the advice of Macaulay. Option B. It made English the language of instruction in Indian education system. Option C. With the formal institutionalization of English as the language of instruction, the stage was set for a new direction to Indian education. Option D. To the existing Oriental institutions, fresh awards of stipends to students and the publication of classical texts were to continue. The correct answer is Option D. To the existing Oriental institutions, fresh awards of stipends to students and the publication of classical texts were to continue. The English Education Act 1835 was a legislative act of the Council of India gave effect to a decision in 1835 by Lord William Bentinck, then Governor-General of the British East India Company, to reallocate funds it was required by the British Parliament to spend on education and literature in India. Previously, they had given limited support to traditional Muslim and Hindu education and the publication of literature in the then traditional languages of learning in India. Henceforward they were to support establishments teaching a Western curriculum with English as the language of instruction. Together with other measures promoting English as the language of administration and of the higher law courts, this led eventually to English becoming one of the languages of India, rather than simply the native tongue of its foreign rulers. Question number 18. Which one of the following dynasties ruled under the suzerainty of the Kingdom of Vijayanagar? Option A. Sangamas, Saluvas, Tulvas, and Arvidu. Option B. Sangamas, Hoesalas, Arvidu, and Tulvas. Option C. Hoesalas, Saluvas, Poligas, and Sangamas. Option D. Yadavas of Devagiri, Hoesalas, Saluvas, and Arvidu. The correct answer is. Option A. Sangamas, Saluvas, Tulvas, and Darvidu. The empire was founded by the famous Sangama brothers, Harihra and Bukar, on the banks of the river Tungabhadra in 1336 AD and was ruled by the four different dynasties the Sangamas, the Saluvas, the Tutuvas, and the Aravis. The Vijayanagara period occupies a unique place in the social and cultural history of South India. Question number 19. Which one of the following statements about the colonial economy is not correct? Option A. The British presence inhibited indigenous capitalism. Option B. Laissez-faire actively promoted indigenous capitalism. Option C. The white collective monopoly came earliest and remained most pronounced in eastern India. Option D. The Bombay hinterland was difficult to penetrate before the construction of railways. The correct answer is Option B. Laissez-faire actively promoted indigenous capitalism. Laissez-faire economics is a theory that restricts government intervention in the economy. It holds that the economy is strongest when all the government does is protect individuals' rights. Laissez-faire is French for let do or leave us alone. In other words, let the market do its own thing. Question number 20. Which of the following statements about the Paris Agreement on Climate Change is not correct? Option A. The agreement has been signed by more than 190 countries, as of March 2017. Option B. 
the agreement went into effect on the 4th of November 2016. Option C. The intended nationally determined contribution, INGC, pledged during the 2015 Climate Change Conference has been withdrawn in the Paris Agreement. Option D. Both the USA and China joined the Paris Agreement. The correct answer is Option C. The intended nationally determined contribution, INGC, pledged during the 2015 Climate Change Conference has been withdrawn in the Paris Agreement. The Paris Agreement brings all nations into a common cause to undertake ambitious efforts to combat climate change and adapt to its effect. With enhanced support from developed nations, it assists the developing countries to chart a new course in the global climate effort. All the given statements are correct except for, C as the INDCs pledged during the climate change conference has not been withdrawn. Question number 21. Akshay Kumar was chosen for the Best Actor Award for the 6th National Film Awards, 2017, for his role in the Hindi film. Option A. Mukti Bhavan. Option B. Nam Shabana. Option C. Rustam. Option D. Airlift. The correct answer is. Option C. Rustam. Akshay Kumar was chosen for the Best Actor Award for the film Rustam. The film is based on the real-life incident of naval officer Kmananavati and businessman Prem Ahuja. Question number 22. Which one of the following statements about the provisions of the Constitution of India is correct? Option A. Minorities can establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. Option B. Only linguistic, ethnic, and religious minorities find mention under Article 30. Option C. Every religious denomination has an unfettered right to establish and maintain institutions for religious and charitable purposes. Option D. An educational institution established by a religious minority loses its minority status on receiving financial aid from the government. The correct answer is. Option A. Minorities can establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. The first statement is correct. Article 30 of the Indian Constitution gives special rights to minorities in India that all minorities shall have the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. Question number 23. Who among the following has won the Dada Saheb Phalke Award for the year 2016? Option A. K. Vishwanath. Option B. Shashi Kapoor. Option C. Gulzar. Option D. Manoj Kumar. The correct answer is. Option A. K. Vishwanath. Kashi Nadhuni Vishwanath is an Indian audiographer turned film director, screenwriter, and actor known for his works predominantly in Telugu cinema. In 1992, he received the Andhra Pradesh State Raghupati Venkaya Award, and the Civilian Honor Padma Shri for his contribution to the field of arts. He was awarded the 2016 Dada Saheb Phalke Award, the highest award in Indian cinema, at the 64th National Film Awards. Question number 24. Which one of the following had created the office of the Secretary of State for India? Option A. The Councils Act 1861. Option B. The Government of India Act 1858. Option C. The Morley Minto Reforms. Option D. Montague Chelmsford reforms. The correct answer is Option B. The Government of India Act 1858. The Government of India Act 1858 was an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom passed on the 2nd of August 1858. Its provisions called for the liquidation of the British East India Company and the transference of its functions to the British Crown. Lord Palmerston then Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, introduced a bill for the transfer of control of the Government of India from the East India Company to the Crown, referring to the grave defects in the existing system of the Government of India. However, before this bill was to be passed, Palmerston was forced to resign on another issue. Later Edward Henry Stanley, 15th Earl of Derby, 
introduced another bill which was originally titled an act for the better governance of India and it was passed on the 2nd of August 1858. This act provided that India was to be governed directly and in the name of the crown. Question number 25. Who among the following is one of the six winners of the Goldman Environmental Prize for the year 2017? Option A. Jadav Paying. Option B. Anadhish Pal. Option C. Prapula Samantra. Option D. Sundar Lal Bahuguna. The correct answer is Option C. Prapula Samantra. Samantra is one of six winners, one for each of the continental regions, of the Goldman Environmental Prize, aka the Nobel Prize for Environmentalists, awarded annually to men and women who take great personal risks to safeguard the environment. Question number 26. Padma Shri Sudarshan Patnajik is well known as a Option A. Novelist. Option B. Golfer. Option C. Classical dancer. Option D. Sand artist. The correct answer is Option D. Sand artist. Sudarshan Patnayak is an Indian sand artist from Orisha. He was awarded the Padma Shri by the Government of India in 2014. Question number 27. Government of which one of the following states has appointed the Rajman Nar Committee to study the centre-state relations? Option A. Government of Andhra Pradesh. Option B. Government of Karnataka. Option C. Government of Maharashtra. Option D. Government of Tamil Nadu. The correct answer is. Option D. Government of Tamil Nadu. The DMK government of Tamil Nadu appointed Raja Mannar committee to examine centre-state relations and to suggest suitable amendments to the constitution so as to secure the state's more autonomy. Question number 28. Which one of the following was the mandate of the Adhar Commission, 1948? Option A. To study the classification of states. Option B. To recommend whether the states can be reorganized on a linguistic basis. Option C. To study the center-state relations. Option D. To examine whether Madras city can be transferred to Andhra. The correct answer is. Option B. To recommend whether the states can be reorganized on a linguistic basis. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar submitted a memorandum, dated the 14th of October 1948 to the Dar Commission, supporting the formation of linguistic provinces, specifically the formation of the Marathi-majority Maharashtra state with Bombay as its capital. Question number 29. Which one of the following pairs of terms and meaning is not correctly matched? Option A. Khalisa, villages whose income went directly to the state treasury. Option B. Moza, rebellious territory. Option C. Inam. Land allotted to a learned and religious man. Option D. Jagir. Territorial assignment given to Mansabdars in lieu of salary. The correct answer is. Option B. Moza. Rebellious territory. Moza was a revenue term that was used for revenue administration during medieval India. Question number 30. In which one of the following buildings the first extant through arch is found? Option A. Arhaidin Kajhompara. Option B. Kuwar ul Islam Mosque. Option C. Tomb of Sultan Balban. Option D. Aleh Darwaza. The correct answer is. Option C. Tomb of Sultan Balban. The tomb of Ghiasuddin Balban, located in Maharoli, Delhi, just a little way off from the Kutub complex is the earliest Sultanate structure to have true arched openings. The Indian builder had finally begun to internalize the structural principles of arch action. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.